So if you want to unlock the full potential of your Google TV, definitely stay and watch this entire video. So today I'm going to show you five powerful hacks that will take your streaming device to the next level. So this is going to range from installing outside applications of the Google Play Store to boosting performance and even customizing your home screen. And we're going to jump right into it. But before we do, just know that these hacks are going to work for any Google TV device. So whether you're on the on 4K streaming devices, the new Google Streamer 4K, the Xiaomi Mi Box 3rd generation or even a Google TV powered television this should all work so we're gonna jump right into it of course if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the notification bell let's go all right so hack number one is gonna be sideloading third-party applications and just the different settings that you have to adjust to get into this. So enable the sideload applications outside your Google Play Store, you do need to do a couple things. So first, let's go to our settings and we're gonna go to our system and we're gonna go to system. We are gonna go to about and we're gonna scroll down to the Android TV OS build. Now, if this is your first time doing this, what you want to do is click the select button or the center button seven times. You need to go to developer options. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can see mine is saying no need. I am a developer already, but if this is your first time doing it, it should tell you counting down from seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You're now a developer. All right. Once you do this, I do recommend you install a file manager from Play Store. And the one that I've always had um, good things to say about is File Manager Plus. This, in my opinion, is easy, simple to use, and it just works. So definitely check that out if you're looking for a file manager. Of course, I also recommend downloading the downloader application from your Play Store. So downloader is gonna allow you to go out to the web, go to any website that hosts APKs, download them directly to your device. All right, so once you download an application, as you can see here, it is gonna prompt you. You might not see the option in Google Play for unknown sources, but once you try to install an application, you will see this prompt. All you gotta do is accept it. And you can see it has been installed. Let's go ahead and open an application just to show you guys that it is working. And you can see that's how easy it is. So of course you can do this from the internet, but if you have a USB drive with APK, you can go ahead and do the same thing. So the next hack, and this one is one of my favorites, is to install custom launcher on your Google TV device. But this is not just any custom launcher. This is the Project TV Launcher, and this is a third-party installation, so you will need to make sure you complete step one before you can go ahead and do this. So once you get this installed, you're gonna go to your settings, and you're gonna go down to accessibility and set Projectivity as your default launcher. Once active, you'll notice that your home screen is a lot cleaner. A lot of the distractions are gone and I did a full video on this and definitely check that out. I went through all the different settings, even some settings that's not enabled on your default device, on the default user interface. So with Projectivity Launcher, you can reorder your apps, you can hide ones that you don't use. You can even create custom categories. Now Projectivity also gives you control over your wallpapers, your themes, your grid layouts, something the stock launcher just doesn't allow. And in my opinion, Projectivity is the best launcher that's available. However, if you want alternatives, you might want to check out F Launcher or Wolf Launcher. Those are always going to be great. Both work well with your Google TV device. Now, this hack is especially useful for people who want a minimalistic home screen without Google's endless suggestions for ads. Hack number three, this is gonna be to expand storage with a USB device. Now, Google TV devices don't normally come with a lot of internal storage. Some only have eight gigs. Luckily, the newer devices we're starting to see with the, with the new Xiaomi TV box S has 32. But once you install a couple of applications, maybe add some movies, some videos, big apps, you're out of space and here's how to fix that. So first, you will need to plug in a USB drive. So if you're on a device that has a dedicated USB port, all you need to do is plug in the drive and go through the process. However, if you have a device that doesn't have a dedicated USB port, it maybe has USB-C that serves as a power or micro USB, 
you do want to pick up an OTG adapter that's going to essentially allow you to add a USB and I've done this on countless video but if you have any questions about that process just drop it in the comments. Now what you want to do is plug in a USB drive and you, you might see a pop up but if you don't you can go to your settings, go to system and go down storage and with the USB drive you want to format it as device storage this is essentially going to wipe everything on the drive and integrate it into your device now if you format it as device storage it integrates with your internal memory perfect for your applications for your data if you format it as removable storage you can then use it just like you would just to load your movies or photos or APKs. So once formatted, you can go to your settings, your apps, manage storage, and you see the option to move apps to external storage. Hack number four, and this is gonna be to optimize your performance by clearing cache. So over time, your Google TV can feel a little bit sluggish. Um, apps build up cache data that eats into your storage and clearing these extra files that's build up on your apps will give you a fresh start so in order to get to this you're going to go to your settings you're going to go to your apps you're going to go to see all apps and you can go to an app to clear the cache just know you want to avoid clearing data unless you want to really reset that application so let's go to crackle so crackle is an app that i, I don't use that much but you can see it's using over 24 megabytes um cache data so we're going to click on that we're going to clear it you can see it goes down to zero and essentially this is going to build up over time guys imagine dozens of apps at 24 25 megabytes that's going to add up into gigs and before you know it you're out of storage so clearing up cache is going to help your device run a little bit better you want to focus on apps like youtube netflix disney plus streaming services these often take up the most cache and i would recommend doing this at least once a month now as a bonus if you go to apps only mode which i've demoed on this channel a couple of times this is going to remove personalized recommendations which are background processes that's going to slow things down a lot definitely check that out and last but not least you can also disable unused apps to free up your memory this will essentially free up your device and free memory to improve your app startup times so after doing all this your google tv should run a lot smoother hat number five is gonna be to create custom screensavers so why would you set up for default ambient mode where you can make your tv show something personal and beautiful so to change this you're gonna go to your settings we're gonna to go to our system, we're gonna to go to ambient mode. We're gonna click on settings. And you can see you have a lot of different options. So by default, it is set to just your art gallery, but if you wanted to do personalized photos, family photos, travel pictures, you do have that option to go in and change it. I personally don't, <laughs> but I know for some folks who their TV is going on and they want like a custom screensaver going, this might be a good way just to personalize your device as well as your experience. So there you have it guys, five awesome hacks to supercharge your Google TV. Which one of these are you going to try first? Let me know down in the comment section. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, of course if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.